everyone, it's Michelle. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to talk about some contemporary brands and bags that you can buy now. You know, I usually talk about Louis Vuitton. These are expensive pieces. I'm so happy to see all of the YouTubers now, not all of them, but a lot of them talking about contemporary brands and not so luxury brands. And this is the category where I'm really comfortable shopping too. So let's face it, we can't really just walk into a Louis Vuitton and buy something. It's usually an investment where we're saving for at least a few months to buy uh, one item. So today's video, I picked out six bags that you can go buy today that are on trend and on trend for this year. I'm getting really excited about the styles of the 90s and early 2000s or Y2K as we call it. But these styles of the 90s like chunky heels, plaid skirts, and really bold structural handbags. So today I picked out some of the styles, six styles, that you can go out and buy today and not break the bank. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, today's video is sponsored by one of those brands and it is sponsored by Bow Today. If you look at Bow Today's website, they've got those chunky loafers and chunky Mary Janes, those 90 styles that I talked about and I'm so excited that they're back. It actually makes me long for the days of Esprit because I had all those styles. When they approached me to work with me, they offered me a selection of handbags and I chose this beautiful moon bag. The bag is genuine cowhide leather and look at the color. It is really a beautiful blue and if you've noticed what's on the shelves, this medium blue is really trending right now. I added my own touch with the bandeau, something I learned from my days at Vuitton. I love to add bandeaus to all my handbags now, especially if I'm going to hold the top handle. It just keeps the top handle protected, but also I love that style and the personal touch it gives the bag. So here we have a cute little moon bag. I see this moon style pretty much everywhere. What's great about this bag is with my code, you can get this for less than $100. But what's also great about this is, check this out. You release this clasp here, and this on the other side. And now you have a beautiful shoulder bag. Let me show you too, right there. Look at this. I love how I can now wear my bandeau on my shoulder. Isn't that cute? It's a great fun way to, to also show off a bandeau. You guys, that is so unique. I, I love bags that have a convertible handle. And honestly, I've not seen a moon bag like this that has that adjustable strap. So do check out their website. And the great thing about it is that this bag is priced at less than $100 if you use my code. The link and the code are in the description. So thank you to Bo today. The only thing it might be missing is a crossbody strap, but you guys, not every bag has to be crossbody. I personally think the moon bag fits really great underneath the arm. It's colorful and it's just fun and really fun with the bandeau. So thanks again to Bo today. So that's the only bag I have in my possession. The next bag on my list is the Kate Spade Smile. So if you notice a theme here, most of these bags that I'm going to talk about today have this crescent shape or a moon shape. So if you watch my other videos, I know you're a Vuitton fan and you've already seen this moon shape bag come back with the Louis Vuitton loop. Knowing this is a trending shape, I would rather buy this type of shape from a contemporary brand rather than to spend two to three thousand dollars on a luxury name that you're only going to wear for a season. It will go into the closet and you might not see it for another 15 years. So the Kate Spade Smile, um, it looks like it comes with a leather strap, but I really love the one that comes with the chain strap. We've all seen the chain all over the place last year. The chunky chain, it's so trendy right now. But I do like the chains on the bags because it just dresses it up just a little bit. This was also something I learned when I was working at Vuitton. Most people prefer a leather strap because they are almost afraid that the chain was too out there or too bold or wouldn't match their jewelry. But I really looked at it like just adding a, a necklace to your bag. 
Having a chain strap is like adding a piece of jewelry or adding a necklace, and I feel it really elevates the bag. The chain does make it more versatile so that you can use it from day to night, and I think it looks more elegant and more acceptable for evening attire if you're going to use your bag, this bag, or any bag for an evening occasion. The Kate Spade bag is on sale right now. It ranges from $104 to $120 depending on the material that you choose. The next bag on my list, I am calling her the dupe to the Gucci Jackie. Hobo bag actually is what they call it. This is available through Furla for a much more reasonable price. She's actually on sale right now for $243. Now, let me preface, if you wanna go for that luxury bag, I have nothing against that, knock yourself out. And since I love shopping, this is something I just might want to walk in the store and be able to buy right then and there without having to save up. Plus, I like to spend my money on vacations instead of bags, but that's just me. So if money were no object, I would probably go for the Gucci, not gonna lie. But if it was just something that I want for the season, I'm going to go for the Furla. It's a low investment and Furla is an amazing quality bag. I just purchased one video coming soon in a different video. Then I'm very happy with the quality and this is the leather bag. So for $240, you can get a beautiful crafted leather bag. What's not to love? And this comes in different colors as well. Now the difference between um, some of these bags in the styles in the 90s is most of them, most handbag companies now add an optional crossbody. Not every style has to be crossbody, like I said, but it's a great option, especially if you're a mom and you need to hold your kid in one hand and your coffee in the other. It's always great to have a hands-free option temporarily. Okay, so the next bag, I really love this one. It's the Sill from Brandon Blackwood. Very reminiscent of Prada. I love this bag for $150. Unfortunately, the black one is sold out, but it is available in other colors in nylon. And there's a pony hair bag available for $170. And then you have beaded options as well for $220 and up. I did see this bag in Winnie V Winnie LV Winnie B LV's video, and it's gorgeous but she is a great alternative to that Prada bag. You know which one, the Prada re-edition. And like I said, if you're not worried about the logo and you just wanna carry a cute bag for the style, this is a great place to spend your money at only 150. Then you have money for the shoes and the rest of it. So that is The Sill by Brandon Blackwood. Love it. Okay, number five on the list. This shape is a little bit different, but it's definitely eye-catching. This is the Limon from Stoud. Stoud is a design house in Los Angeles, and they fall in the contemporary range, but they have a very luxury look. I actually bought a dress from them recently that I absolutely love and adore. So this is a brand I will peruse their website every now and then. And they, they have both uh, leather versions of the bags and vegan versions. They have quite an arrangement of bags. You'll even find um, a lot of moon-shaped bags here as well. That's why I know it's trending, but the Limon, look at the, the big round structured handles, very, res re very reminiscent of Jacquemus, but a little bit cheaper price point, which is great. So um, this bag, she's a little more than the previous bag. She's $325. Still a great price point for a leather bag. That will be a statement. Um, oh, I love this in yellow. It's just it's like holding art. Having a fashion background, loving fashion. I love these bags that look just structural and they look like artwork. So when you hold this bag, it's definitely making a statement. It will be the focal point of your outfit no matter what color bag you're holding. It's definitely a head turner. So that is the Limon from Stout. And uh, last on the list, this, I don't know how I came across this brand. I haven't actually heard of it before. It's a green crinkled leather bag from Marge Sherwood and I found this on Essence. It's a beautiful green. By the way, green is trending right now as well. So we're seeing uh, some, 
colors that we haven't seen for a while, some bold colors. And again, it's another uh, hobo bag that goes under the arm. And this is a little bit in between a hobo and a moon shape. It's got that moon shape zipper. And she does come in different colors. So this is a genuine leather bag and the price of her is $240. These are all really great price points for bags that you want to buy now and spend now, as opposed to a bag that you might have to save up for a few months for. And like I said at the beginning of the video, these bags are somewhat on the trendy side, but they're fun. You can get colors for that price point, get colors or get bandeaus. Just have fun with the bag and the outfit. And why I really love to shop at this price point is that you're not blowing your money all in one place. You have your bag and then you still have money for the shoes and the bandeau and the whole outfit and all the other accessories. As a former employee of Vuitton, one of the mistakes I really saw people make was that um, they would buy the expensive bag and neglect everything else, whether it was the outfit, the shoes, the hair, the makeup, the skin. You know, so personally I always thought I would feel better to spread that money from head to toe, outfit shoes, including hair, skin, and makeup. And I think with these contemporary brands and contemporary prices, that gives you a lot more room to play and it gives you a lot more versatility in your outfit. I hope I've given you some helpful tips today. By the way, I don't get a commission for any of these bags that I'm talking about other than the first bag, which was from Bo today. So thank you again for sponsoring this video. And thank you guys for being here if you're to this point of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think of any of these bags and the price point. And don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. My name's Michelle. Bye.